ever wondered how those fantastic animations you see in movies and games are created? Well, behind those mesmerizing visuals lies a world filled with challenges and complexities. Today, we're going to demystify some of those challenges for you. The world of animation is vast and diverse. One of the most common challenges animators face is creating believable characters. Achieving characters that resonate with viewers requires a deep understanding of form, anatomy, and expression. Another hurdle is achieving smooth motion. It's not just about making things move but about making them move believably, fluidly, and with purpose. Then there's the task of mastering animation software. With a myriad of tools available, understanding which one to use and how can be daunting. All these may seem overwhelming but don't worry. We're here to break down these challenges and provide actionable solutions. So buckle up and get ready to dive into the world of animation. Creating an animated character that resonates with viewers is not easy, is it? It's an art form that requires patience, skill, and a deep understanding of human nature. But what does it take to breathe life into these figments of our imagination? Let's delve into that. Firstly, character development and designing are the backbone of any animation. A character is not merely a sketch but a personification of ideas and emotions. It's crucial to invest time in understanding the character's personality, backstory, and motivations. This understanding will guide your design choices, from their physical attributes to their clothing and even their posture. Next, we have character sketching. This is where you start turning your ideas into visuals. It's not just about drawing a character, but about capturing their essence. Experiment with different styles, postures, and expressions until you find what feels true to your character. And yes, don't be afraid to make modifications. Your character sketch is a living, evolving document. Now, let's talk about defining character traits. Every character needs to have distinct traits that set them apart. These traits should be reflected in their actions, dialogue, and reactions. Are they brave or timid? Are they cheerful or gloomy? The more specific you are, the more relatable your character will be. Lastly, the role of emotions. Emotions are what make characters feel real and relatable. They're the spark that ignites the connection between the character and the viewer. To portray emotions effectively, study human behavior. Observe how people express different emotions and translate that into your animation. Remember, subtlety is key. It's the little details like a slight frown or a faint smile that can make all the difference. So, there you have it. The art behind creating believable characters. It's a journey of exploration, creativity, and empathy. Every stroke of your pen, every line of dialogue, every expression, is a step towards bringing your character to life. Remember, your character is the heart of your animation and their believability is key. Is Ever noticed how some animations seem choppy while others are as smooth as real life? Well, that's not magic, it's science. In the world of animation this smoothness is achieved through the careful manipulation of two key components, frame rates and keyframes. Let's start with frame rates. Imagine a flipbook. Each page of the flipbook is a frame. Now the speed at which you flip through these pages, that's your frame rate. In animation, a higher frame rate means more frames per second, creating a smoother motion. Traditionally, films are played at 24 frames per second, which is usually enough to trick our eyes into perceiving continuous motion. But for hyper-realistic animations, rates can go up to 60 frames per second or more. Now let's talk about keyframes. These are the significant points of action in an animation. For example, if a character is waving, the keyframes might be the highest and lowest points of the wave. Animators create these keyframes first and then fill in the frames in between, a process known as in-betweening or tweening. The smoother the transition between these keyframes, the smoother the overall motion appears. But achieving smooth motion goes beyond just manipulating frame rates and keyframes. It also involves following the 12 principles of animation. Developed by Disney's Frank Thomas and Ollie Johnston, these principles have been the backbone of animation for decades. They include techniques like squash and stretch, which gives a sense of weight and flexibility to objects, and anticipation, which prepares the audience for a major action. These principles, combined with the right use of frame rates and keyframes, can create animations that are incredibly smooth and lifelike. They're the tools of the trade for animators, and understanding them is key to mastering the art of animation. So remember, achieving smooth motion is not about luck or guessing. It's a science, one that involves understanding and manipulating various elements to create the desired effect. Achieving smooth motion is a science and with practice you can master it. Animation software can seem intimidating, can it? But let's break it down, beginning with two popular choices. 
Blender and Adobe Animate. Blender, a free and open source 3D creation suite, offers a full range of tools for modeling, rigging, animation, simulation, rendering, compositing, and motion tracking. Its user interface may seem complex at first glance, but it's all about getting comfortable with the layout. The main window is divided into sections, each dedicated to a specific task. To the right, you'll find Properties, Outliner, and the Asset Library. To the left, the 3D Viewport, Timeline, and Shader Editor. Don't worry about memorizing this right away, it'll become second nature with practice. Adobe Animate, on the other hand, is a paid software that offers more in the realm of 2D animation. Think cartoon characters and interactive web content. Its interface is more streamlined with tools organized on the side and properties and layers on the right. The stage in the center is where you'll create and manipulate your artwork. Both Blender and Adobe Animate have a vast array of tools, and mastering them is key. In Blender for example, the transform tools can be your best friend. They allow you to move, rotate and scale objects in your scene. In Adobe Animate, the brush tool and bone tool are essential for character animation. The brush tool is used for drawing and coloring, while the bone tool is used for rigging, which gives your character the ability to move. Don't forget about the timeline, a crucial part of any animation software. It's where you control the sequence and timing of your animation. In Blender, it's at the bottom of the screen, while in Adobe Animate, it's at the top. Each software uses keyframes, which are essentially snapshots of your animation at a particular point in time. By changing the position, rotation, or any other property of an object between keyframes, you create the illusion of motion. When you're starting out, it's easy to feel overwhelmed by the sheer number of features in these software. But remember, you don't have to learn everything at once. Focus on mastering the basics and gradually delve into more complex functionalities, and don't underestimate the power of the online community. There are countless tutorials and forums where you can find answers to your questions, learn new techniques, and get feedback on your work. Websites like Blender Artists and Adobe Community are treasure troves of information, and YouTube is a goldmine for step-by-step -step tutorials. Mastering software is a big part of animation, but remember, it's just a tool. Your creativity is what brings animations to life. So go ahead, dive into the world of animation software, get comfortable, get creative, and most importantly, have fun with it because that's what animation is all about. So we've covered quite a bit today, haven't we? Indeed, we've journeyed through the fascinating world of animation, delving into the heart of character development, the science of smooth motion, and the intricacies of animation software. Let's take a moment to reflect on what we've learned. We kick things off by setting the stage for the challenges that lie ahead in the world of animation. Remember, these challenges are not roadblocks, but stepping stones on your path to becoming a master animator. We then moved on to the art behind believable characters. We explored how the key to creating engaging characters lies not just in the physical design, but also in their emotional depth and complexity. It's about making your audience care for your characters, about making them real in the minds of those who watch your creations. From there we dove into the science of smooth motion. It's not just about moving your characters from point A to point B. It's about understanding the physics, the timing, and the rhythm. It's about making each movement feel natural, fluid, and believable. Remember the principles of squash and stretch, anticipation, and follow-through that we discussed. Next, we turned our attention to animating with software. We learned about the various tools at your disposal and how they can help bring your visions to life. From frame-by-frame -frame animation to tweening and morphing, we covered it all. Remember, mastering the software is crucial but it's your creativity that will truly bring your animations to life. As we wrap up, I want to encourage each and every one of you to not be disheartened by the initial challenges. Animation is a craft. It takes time, patience, and lots of practice. But with every character you create, every motion you animate, you'll be one step closer to mastering this beautiful art form. Animation is a journey filled with challenges, but also immense satisfaction. So, Keep animating, keep creating, and let your imagination fly.